first loosen the fixing screw on the cam to ensure the cam can roll on the shaft. Loosen the two screws. Rotate. If the cam cannot rotate, lose the whole frame. Lose the screws on the frame and remove the frame to clean the burns in the cam in order to make sure that the cam can rotate on the shelf. Loosen the screw on the push out crank. To ensure the crank can rotate with the shaft. Loosen the screw on the finished product injector rod. Make sure the injector rod can be up and down for it. Rotate the motor crank anti-clockwise by hand and then the rot rotator disc will do clockwise movement. Once the rotator disc arrived at the next station, then stop, stop hand crack. Check the injector road of color mark station, the filling station, the heating station. If the injector road is not at the center of the station we need to lose the screw of the plant lose this screw and also lose the fourth screw and then the plant can move so move the plant to make sure the the inject road is in the middle of the station. The fourth station is also all in the middle of the station. Then lock the screws. Plant. Push the cam to do forward movement around the shaft. Once the injector rod starts to move upward, then lock the screws. The crank is turned to the highest position manually by the worker. Here is the highest the position, and then the finished product injector rod should be moved up until the the rod is above above the mold around the one cm. Then lock the screw on the finished product injector roll. Rotate the crank to the lowest position. Here is the lowest position. Then move, um, then push the crank forward until the inject road at the station below below the mode around the 1 cm lock the screw on the crank we start to do the signal cam adjustment uh, here are three signal cams the first one the first one is the feeling, 22 when feeling starts.
The second one can do when clamping and uh, cutting tail starts. The third one can do when the tube loading starts. First, we adjust the clamping and the cutting signal cam. Um, rotate the cam from top to this direction. When the when the cam attacked the button, then then lock lock the screw on the cam. Then we adjust the tube loading signal cam, uh, rotate the cam on this direction. When the cam touch the button, then lock the screw on the cam. We adjust the, the, this one, the when feeling start signal cam. Now we need to rotate the crank anti-clockwise. Then the inject rod will push the tube mode up. When the tube, when the feeding nozzle into tube around the one cm, then stop rotate. Hold on. Hold on and then rotate the cam. When the cam touch the button, lock lock the screw on the cam. After we finish all these adjustments, then rotate the crank anti clockwise to move the station. Move one or two stations to check if it is rotate normally. If the feeling is not complete when the tube has left, the machine should be stopped and readjust the feeling star signal cam. The feeling star signal cam to readjust to make the signal in advance, the position of the tube is less than 1 cm.